Hello my gorgeous Aquarius, welcome to this reading and more welcome to this channel. How are you doing? I hope you are very, very well. Are you ready for weekly reading? Yes, weekly readings are back. December 18th through the 24th, 2023. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, this is for you. Thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate it. When you like, comment, share and subscribe. It really helps me to help you in a big way. That's what I call energy exchange. Let's find out what kind of energy or what kind of topic. That energy of spirits and, and um, angels want you to know. Message of concern. Changes. Number 14 is 5, which is change. What's this change about? Okay, it's very interesting. Now, when you see those two ladies here, especially the main female, this is a card of stability, standing your ground, knowing what you want, knowing what you don't want. I feel like some of you perhaps uh, are growing into a person. Maybe you are getting out of promoted or you're coming into life some sort of... um. There's some sort of other situation or... There has been some twists and turns where perhaps you have to grow up, grow up faster, mature faster, and it takes a little bit out of you or it comes with responsibilities. There's some sort of increase of responsibilities in your life right now. Because literally both ladies are standing. It's not like someone is sitting down or enjoying themselves. This is really kind of like ready for action, ready for some sort of move okay especially with the 14.5 which is a change it could be so that some of you are but i do look at uh, i always love to look at the cards it is a beautiful setting so it's nothing like anything negative but it does feel like either is your business maybe you are launching a new product maybe you are uh learning something and wanting to increase your knowledge or something like that i feel like there's a lot of responsibility mature maturity is coming in play in a big time there is a light coming there is a something positive coming out of this okay it's just it could be as well that you need to put some sort of extra work and extra time in and it comes with i wouldn't be surprised to see 10 of um wands here because this is card persistence you're carrying something uh some sort of load workload or experience load on your back but this is for a cause and that causes you have calculated that it's not something has been dumped on you it could be as well but it kind of you are embracing it you're not brushing it off i wonder what it is Aquarius. it does feel like you are really maturing and and um growing you kind of like reaching the next level wouldn't be surprised to see the world world card as well so let's dive in what's happening this week what is going on what is going on, Aquarius? Quick, yeah. Some sort of fast movement. I do have a sense, okay, that perhaps several things were not moving as quick as you would want to do. Knight of Pentacles at the bottom, something you couldn't see, okay? So hence you are kind of maybe even taking another job on or taking something else on. There's a lot of, lots of responsibility in your shoulders right now. A lot. But eight of ones, you are going the right direction. It's going pretty quick. So it does take a lot out of you for a moment. Okay, let's have a look at the past. Oh, Knight of Swords, Two of Swords. Okay, yeah, it feels like in the past that you needed to either solve some sort of issue or problem and you took a real action. And either that was right or wrong, but it couldn't stay as it was. There was some sort of uncertainty. Five of Wands is some sort of conflict this is very much of inner conflict very often that necessarily isn't just with other people but it can it could be so that maybe you felt like there is no action happening okay there is no nothing's going on there's no uh maybe you're looking for work and it was so slow maybe you were not invited to interviews or something was not really happening so you kind of took <laughs> took um uh, took, you took action you took the life and and everything what comes with it in your own hands, in a ways. And you were very swiftly. There's a lot of fast-moving energy, what I'm feeling here. So, that's in the past. Where are you going? Seven ones. Okay. Empress. Wow. And a queen of cups. So. 
it does feel we're talking about the ones here it does feel like either you've been very either you're in a public eye or you you have social media where you have a lot of um uh different opinions about what you do perhaps okay or some sort of controversial uh, business or something controversial going on as well uh it does feel like it's a little bit like as if you have to or you feel like you have to explain yourself but look these two ladies are stepping in especially with the empress she's like i don't have to explain myself to nothing or no one i know who i am i know what i do and especially with queen of cups she's like come on come on girl let's go and have a coffee okay it does feel like this kind of girl power we have two ladies here and it doesn't necessarily mean that it's just for ladies but it does feel this kind of um, I could be as well that you meet a person or a partner and someone who perhaps is very supportive of you and they're a little bit opposite as you are but you have the right the same kind of um, uh, approach to things as well it could be it, I do feel like you are not going to be on your own it does feel like as you're going to be supported okay you just need to stand your ground you need to see your um, cause don't come off the course okay don't change who you are or how you are um, for no one or nothing, okay? Let's just clarify the two swords and the five of wands. Why do we have them here? What was this situation about? Nothing happened. It's kind of like quiet. It's quite a quiet energy there. Here we go. We have another knight of swords. Okay. I do feel like some of you felt like you were short changed or limited to something maybe you wanted either promotion maybe you wanted something else in your life okay <laughs> it's nothing always do about the promotions but i kind of feel like maybe you were not rewarded or felt like um you were even starting to slow quit have you heard of that term you know it's been people are working in one place and they're already trying to do less and less and less uh, however when you have a two two nights here it's kind of like you were not happy with that unset unsettling kind of feeling. And one thing you do not like is, even though you're a revolutionary and you like things turning upside down and everything, but at some point you like that stability in a way as well. Okay. You like that stability. And there was some sort of a lack of stability, lack of movement even. And perhaps a lot of things were not happening. So you're like, okay, I need to move stuff. If, as if like you were creating your real fortune yourself and you're kind of like okay if the changes don't come to me i'm gonna go to the changes i'm gonna change something i'm gonna do participate let's have a look at the seven of wands i'm seeing someone is very bold or very um doing something that perhaps is taboo even okay and i wouldn't be surprised it's you who's doing it okay there is because that's your kind of um uh, it's your kind of thing however in a positive way okay it could be as well that some communities or some people don't understand what you do or why you do it certain things or who you are even seven ones clarifying yeah there's a lot of passion of what you do and queen ones there's a lot of queens there's a lot of uh, energy of standing your ground as well okay very often you felt like and you have changed there's a lot of changes has happened okay you have been really thinking maybe some of you have come out of your shell okay and you do feel more confident within your skin but sometimes that confidence is rubbing against someone else and they just don't understand why before you were all this um yes person no person okay and agree with everyone maybe maybe not but somehow now you have become your own and they just don't understand that okay and you kind of like so what they don't understand so what they say, you are not part of my group. You know what? I don't need to be part of your group. I'm creating my own group. Perhaps I don't need anyone. I'm happy as I am. And if someone wants to join me in, more than welcome. But I'm, I am who I am. And I'm not going to change for nothing. Okay. Let's just clarify quickly, uh, Empress and the Queen of Cups. I, I do feel like you have really grown into this very strong, mature person. Doesn't matter what age you are. We are all still our children sometimes, okay? And it's some sort of part of your life is really maturing. Ah, and here we are, another queen. Look, it is so interesting. There is something you want. And what you want perhaps is not 
align with anyone else what they want you in your life. Basically, what I'm saying is very often some people think that they know what you should be doing. And some people think, oh, you should be you should be listening to their advice. However, you have some sort of dream that you want to fulfill. Look, she's looking at the stars, okay? And the dolphins here is saying, just go for it, okay? Perhaps you might need to leave something behind. Because if the dream is so big, okay, maybe you have some sort of, you're building your new future. But if someone who doesn't respect your future, they don't have place in your future. We have Queen of Pentacles. You know how to do things. You know how to make certain things happen. And you don't have to explain to no one and nothing. I have to say, this is very bold um, move. But you can't not do different. This is you. You are growing. Okay. You are really growing big time. And you're taking very bold steps and actions towards your goals. There's a lot of movement happening. Could be physical movement, traveling as well. And it feels like as well that you're moving to the right direction as well. Right. Let's have a look at what angels and spirit guides want you to tell. Why is the message for Aquarius? Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, so interesting. At the bottom we have Azor telling or saying, stating this. Your desired outcome will occur in very near future. Have patience and faith. And don't try to force to happen, okay? And that is something interesting because sometimes Knight of Swords is rather forceful energy. So look whether we have the little clock here. It's rather, not a little bit, rather big. Um, it's kind of the timing. Divine timing is at play. Now, when you see Bridget, right? This is an interesting card, in fact. What is she looking at? She's looking into a pot. Okay. A lot of light in there. And that is a card of, it states, caution is warranted. Warranted. Look deeper into the situation before proceeding further. But what it is stating, you seek and you seek and will find what you look for. Don't come off that course. Is there something in your life that you are very passionate about? And this is you. This is who you are. This is it, this is part of you. Okay. Um, keep that to yourself a little bit here as well, because this is a little bit card of protecting your light. And as we are in Northern Hemisphere, there's a lot of darkness at the moment right now. It could be that you feel like you are on your own in this. Hence, I was saying that some sort of maybe taboo thing you're doing. Okay, maybe some sort of um, some you feel like misunderstood for some reason. But when it's so dark outside, you have to switch your inner sun. If I feel like this is your inner sun, this is your inner light. Don't let anyone or anything to dim your light. And that is your your homework basically <laughs> Aquarius I do feel like you are very revolutionary back you're back to yourself but it's just so I hope you don't lose that sight of the light the sight of the reason why you do what you do and that's all I have for you all right thank you so much for being here have a fantastic week and uh, love and light and abundance and I'll see you in the next reading